Yo, on this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 28 of Direwolf20 and Pahamar's Agrarian Sky series. Pahamar, how you doing, sir? I'm getting all leafed out. How about you? Uh, I'm getting all lava crucibled out. <laughs> Watch your feet. Uh, okay. I'm testing to see if I can ME fluid cell export lava into this thing. I'm assuming I can. Is that how these things work, by the way? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh no, give me that back. What happens when you put a diamond sword in the bat? <laughs> I don't even you know. Don't you don't get it back. Apparently. Apparently that's the rule. Uh, I got it back. I'm testing out to see how well I can automate these vats. So far, it seems to be going well. This is for a this titanium, a... right? Uh, well, it's a little bit of a couple things. Mostly titanium. I mean, yeah, like that's the end goal. Yeah. Um, okie dokie. We so are so what close are we on lettuce. Are we? Yeah. So we got the two farms running over here, and... When we got on the server, we were about 4,000 short, so remember that old um, amaranth tree thing you had set up with the axe of the stream? Yes. So I've actually just got it laying down a ton of bone meal on top of some lettuce, and we're getting a decent amount this way. That worked, by the way. Hooray! I'm cooking up a bunch of burnt brick because I figured why not. So what are you doing? I want to come see. I'm just... Uh... Oh, that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I'm just super speeding up our lettuce gathering. And then afterwards, I think I'll do this with soy, because we're going to want a bunch of soy for the other uh, cooking ones. Is that why I have this, like, visual appearance on my screen? Like, there's lettuce flying into my inventory? Yeah, I get that too, and I really don't. I Like, I'm not getting the lettuce. Direwolf's not getting the lettuce, but it looks like it is. Yes. I don't know why that is. Well, I know... Tinker's construct, the way it works, it's like it automatically goes into the nearest player's inventory or something like that. But there's nothing Tinker's construct about that. I know, but maybe they're doing something similar. Because that's how those experience plants work in Tinker's construct. It just like looks like it goes into your inventory, but it doesn't. It's a liar. I think we have enough. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get that pumped in. I'm making another one of these crucible doohickeys. Doohickey what? Exactly. When you don't know, just make up words. Exactly. What? What? Okay, what? that looks pretty close to what I need to do. I just need that one. Um, and then I need a lot. Do you have all the MU cable? Do I have, me? cable? Do I have all the ME cable? Uh, I have a bunch of ME cable. Do I have it all? I think you have it Maybe. all. I, think... I have all that we have crafted at the moment, perhaps. Wow, that's a lot less than I thought. Yeah. So apparently, in order to get this thing, we need to put a fluid tank and a crucible furnace and a crucible furnace. And hey, that looks like a multi-block form there. Sweet. And there's stuff over here. Look at that. Block only work when... Nice. Redstone signal, auto-eject. This is pretty fancy. I'm going to set up another export bus for liquid. Uh, where's the fluid export bus? Do you have all the ME cable? I have most of it. Do you? You just gave it to me. Just a sec. You can tell Pahamar is working in the AE system because it's flickering. All right, I feel so the same way about that. Thank you, I guess. And there we go. All right, I'm going to come up and give it to you. Thank you, sir. Wow, it's chewing away awfully quick. What's that? The leafy greens. We're halfway done handing in the lettuce. Nice. Oh, wow. I was so close as to where that was. <laughs> All 
All right, so then I think I can just put this here, and then this here to here, and then open this dude up and say, hey, you export lava, please. It's going. Nice. All right, so Crucible Furnace is apparently able to crucibleize things. Is that a word, or did you just make it up? I make up all the words that I say. So I found that by finding this basic materials book, which is a burnt brick in a book. So that's cool. Titanium, right? So in order to get titanium... Oh my god, we're up... seven lettuce short. Seven lettuce, really? Seven. Seven. So an alloy smeltery of impure titanium and molten magnesium. Impure titanium comes from rutile ore. So that's easy. I think I even set that up already. So we're done with rutile ore and we're done with impure titanium, right? Yes, we have a ton of the stuff. Uh, then what I want is magnesium, right? Liquid magnesium. So let's figure out molten magnesium comes from magnesium dust, et cetera, et cetera. And I think it was the dust that you can get out of a vat. Cool. So water and quicklime, or yeah. And quicklime comes from a crucible furnace of limestone. So is that the thing I just made as a crucible furnace? Yeah, limestone. Yeah, we have like plenty of limestone. So let's see, then I need a, be sure I have already. So this guy can go into Quick lime. Ooh, that's fancy. Ooh, that's fancy. And quick lime plus water in a vat should equal magnesium dust, I think. So we're going to find out. Uh, so let's stick uh, this in here. If I could interrupt you. Uh, you can if you want, yes. We have a quest. A quest that's ready to be completed and handed in. Indeed. Indeed. Wow. Oh, we have to get our crucible furnace up to 825C. And it's currently at 107C. It's 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 climbing, but slowly. Real quick, let me just see if there's a way to speed up the heating of this thing. Um, cool. I guess if we put stuff in there. Okay, cool. I don't know if putting items in there is going to make things any faster, but I guess we'll find out. Um, cool. All right, what quest did you have? Leafy greens. Oh, lettuce, I see. I know you've been working on that for like a million years. Almost as long as I was working on the liquid protein. Nice. And hey, we got a whole growth out of that. That's kind of nice. We got two. And I got an epic bag. As did I. Ooh, I got silverwood saplings and aura nodes. I got efficiency runes. So, did you know we have to fight the wither? What? Did you know we have to fight the wither? What? Well, if you want to do bragging rights, which you said you wanted to do, right? Yeah. We have to get an archmage's blood orb for one of those. And that's a wither? That's four withers. Four withers? Didn't we talk about having a witherproof room? Uh, we did. I can show you how I, I typically design one. And oh yeah, you're talking really about uh, warded blocks? Correct, yes. And it almost trivializes the fight, but it's kind of cool, so I like doing it. So there's these little blue slots over on the Crucible Furnace. I'm wondering if they're like upgrades or something. I had to figure that out. Uh, so I'm waiting for this Crucible Furnace to heat up. Uh, would you like to come back when it's done? Wow, this is going to take a while. Sure, we could do that. Okay, cool. Back in a few. I think I'm almost ready with this crucible furnace. It's at 730C. I was almost ready too. So, watch your feet. Deep. Deep. So that should be the vat. I'm going to set this guy up with a couple things. Watch your feet. Deep. I'm Stop thinking I'll put a precision import bus on the bottom. It'll pull items out the bottom. I don't know if that's valid or if it depends on what side it 
doesn't matter. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but I want bus, but I want a fluid export bus. There we go. It is so funny that you can use tofu in place of almost any protein in the recipes. Yeah. So you can use it like in place of a hamburger meat? Didn't we already discuss this and I said that that's a crime? Because I think you can use it in place of bacon, the bacon cheeseburger. And I'm like, no. Yeah. yeah. You can also it use it confuse. for the leafy fish sandwich. You can use it as the fish. Does not compute. Fish, you can you can say, all right. I would I would say, okay, yeah. If you want to substitute, that's cool. I'm all right with that. But I don't know if I'm cool with you substituting bacon with tofu. Like, that's just no. Well, to kind of, because uh, I figured you were going to say that, I've got myself a Thaumium sword, and I've enchanted it with one of those looting three books we've got. Okay. And I think I'm going to use a whole bunch of that uh, mob essence we've been collecting. For what? Well, if I'm going to make a bacon cheeseburger and not use tofu, I'm going to need beef, and I'm going to need pork. Okay. That's acceptable. I wonder if I can scoop this stuff out with... Oh, but I'm not going to go fishing, so our, our fish sandwich is going to be made out of tofu. Crucible's running. You got the crucible going? Yeah. Was it with my help with the coal? Uh, I don't think so. I think it was my help with the coal. You can think that all you want. I'm not sure if we're going to be using this for other things, so I'm going to see if I can specify the export of this thing. Now, I think I'm only going to get 900 millibuckets from the first piece of limestone, if any eye is correct. Yes, it is. Cool. So I won't be able to scoop that out anyway. Um, I'm guessing one of these slots is for yep. exporting into yep. a If you leave it there, leave it'll it there. Uh, take it out. I accidentally put lava in there before, and I got it out the same way. Ah, okay. That's cool. So, we'll so once this thing second. hits the proper melting point, like thing but then once i do that i can configure this dude i'm going to set him to a white list ignore and then i can start making this stuff so it should be as soon as we get three buckets worth of quicklime and it goes into the vat here with the water that should be the end of that and i'm not getting the bucket of quicklime out there's a there's a tank you can get. Maybe you just can't do buckets. Oh well, for now I'm just doing that. There you go. So there's two separate tanks in the vat. So that's good because it means I didn't have to worry about having the water too full. I didn't realize that there were two tanks. There's actually three it looks like. Because you can combine two liquids to be a third. Mm -hmm. And then once I get my first piece of magnesium dust, I'll set that to the import. Uh, meanwhile, how is our limestone? How much... Uh dust do we need to make the titanium? How much dust do we need to make the titanium? I don't know. You're the brains of the operation. I'm the beauty. I'm the beauty. That's a stretch. Okay, cool. So I've got a bunch of limestone inside the thing now, and we're making more because I filled these guys up with sand. Limestone comes from sand. And we're almost at the point, I think, where we're ready to make a piece of magnesium. Yeah, it's it's cooking fast now. Look at that. Will it cook both of these at the same time? I don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah, it looks like it did. It? So the vat is apparently cooking up magnesium. Now. That's actually good to know that it cooks up both at the same time. Hey, I've got magnesium dust. Boot. Boot. Hooray. And then we're going to ME Precision Import bus this thing. And we should start getting magnesium dust in the AE system with relative speed. And I'm going to go drop it in over here and see what we get by way of smeltering it. 
So I'm pretty sure it's magnesium dust in the smeltery leads to... So in a crucible furnace, you get molten magnesium, but in a smeltery, you get the same thing. Cool. And titanium. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, um, one of your golems is kind of lost and probably needs your help. My golems always need my help, to be totally well, fair. He's well, he's in the rain alone, holding one of your saplings, about to fall off the edge. Should I save him, or would you like to see him first? I would like to see him first. Well, you will have to come over here. Yeah? Yeah. I was like, what is this like, bump here along the wall? Him. How did he get over there? I, I was know, wondering where like, he went. He's like the saddest golem in the world right now. He's like, I have oh. your sapling, but I can't come in. Yay, I'm free. Here's your sapling. Like, I don't know how he managed to get all the way over there. I'm guessing he climbed up on top of the sludge boiler and then walked out there to get whatever item happened to be way out there. But I was actually wondering what happened to the golem that picked up items. That's why I set up those void sucker thingies. Yeah, really, he just got lost. Just... Yeah, they usually do, and I just kind of write them off. I'm like, yeah, they're done. All right, so how are we for molten magnesium? Impure molten titanium? Ooh, I have one ingot's worth of molten titanium. I don't know how much of the liquid we need to count as a bucket's worth. But I got another piece of magnesium. How much titanium do we need, by the way? Just a block. Just one block? That's it. Well, it's uh, one magnesium per ingot, apparently. Nice, so this won't take long at all. No, I'm almost not even going to bother automating it to be honest with you. I'll just wait for seven more magnesium, dump them in there, and we're done. And I'm going to sit here and kill cows. Here. Okay, you want to come back in a minute? You know, we have reactor casing and scorched bricks and energetic infusers and magmatic dynamos to make. You want me to make those while the magnesium's cooking up? Sounds good. Okay, back in a few. Hi, right, Mar, what you doing over there? I'm bringing home the beef. Aren't you supposed to bring home bacon? Yeah, but uh, Eichon's busy at the moment. Oh. And I'll I'll do yeah, some bacon just... later. I like how the blood altar is like affecting the cows in there. Yeah, it's great. They spawn in and they're like, "Oh, I'm scared of players because I'm getting hurt by this blood altar." Sorry. This guy doesn't seem like he's running around too much. No, some of them are kind of just dumb. Well, they they don't look like they're afraid of players until you hit them with the sword. Well, these looting enchants have ended up being very lucrative. Yeah. So we only really needed one block of titanium, that's it? That's what it looked like. Okie dokie, block of titanium, zero, one. I think I'm ready for that then. We Just must be dumped, ready to uh, hand all those then. Uh, we are, because I went and crafted a bunch of them. They're all in my inventory, ready to go. See, here I am, slaving away, trying to make you a bacon cheeseburger. Right. And you're out there just lollygagging around. Correct. There's a cowpocalypse going on in here. If you say so. You are so disinterested right now. Block of titanium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a manual submit, and I did everything right. Oh, but there's a crafting task that needs to be done afterwards, but we did it all because it's all big reactor stuff. So it would appear to be done. We needed cyanite reprocessor and reactor controllers and access ports and steam turbines. I guess you crafted all that? Yep, that's part of the big reactor. Some point. So do you want nether uranium ore or nether redstone ore? Hmm. I don't think we have a lot of the nether uranium. We only have 204 nether uranium, but we only have 3,000 nether redstone ore. I guess uranium. I was going to say. I guess. The thing is, though, in fairness, we're not using the uranium at all. Nice reward. I got bee stuff. I got lettuce seeds. Well, 
that's just laughing at you then. Um, all right, cool. So did that unlock a quest in the end quest line? It did not. So we have three locked quests and three completed quests and then the center one here. So I'm guessing this one that looks like food needs to be completed once Hell's Kitchen is completed. And I'm guessing... You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? I'm thinking it wants us to do some of those bragging rights ones. It shouldn't, though, because bagging rights should be totally empty. I think I think the end opens up once you've completed an entire line. So I think once we finish Hell's Kitchen and Bees and Trees, it'll open up more of the end. Yeah, but look at it. Yeah, like, it requires it. 12 quests to be completed for this uh, one with the diamond hoe. Well, maybe that just means 12 quests in general, like including ones we've already done. We got four left in the tr um, the Bees and Trees. Right. Like, we don't have 17 quests total left to do. Yeah, and there's only two left in the food. Yeah, like, total quests left is maybe, maybe 17. Like, I think it's 18, so, I mean, it's, I don't think so, I don't know, we'll see. Should we start working on bragging rights, then? I think so. A lot of them are really easy, like the vanilla one. Vanilla one's easy until you get to Beacon. Well, you are in charge of killing Withers. Am I? Should we start working on that? You can start working on that. I should get back to the bees and trees. All right, you get back to bees and trees. I'm going to look into if we have the resources. Oh, you know what, though? There's a problem with my plan. I forgot. What's the As problem? I flip the problem? My notebook. Well, the thing is that the warded stone focus requires another star. So we need a few withers. Wait, no. We Wait, need... No, yeah. we need... Are you decked out enough to kill one? Um, you were saying the other day about other. like weakness and punching. Yeah, I, I've done a few nifty tricks to take them down pretty easily. Um, let me look at what we've got, and then we'll come back. Sounds good. All right, Pahamar, stand back. Uh oh, what are you doing? Lighting things on fire. Yeah, and me. Well, I told you to stand back. I did. I, you're making another bound sword? Look at what I got. I am. That's right, I'm making another bound sword. And I'm bringing it over here and cross your fingers that I get the enchant that I'm looking for. Why would you just enchant you a, book? I got, a book? Um, I could enchant a book. What enchant are you I looking got, for, by the way? By the way, I wanted smite. But I got sharpness 4. Sharpness 4 is pretty darn good. You realize we have all these enchanted really books? I looked through them and I didn't see any smite. So you get to battle the wither with a bound sword? Um, I don't know. Here's what else I can do. How much mob essence do we have left? Did you kill us on mob essence? I haven't even touched what's in the AE system. Jesus! What? Why is there still lightning going on? Who did you take off? I don't know. You? Did you take off the way of time? I hope I didn't, because he's nasty and cruel. <laughs> well, I'm going to work on tree breeding some more. I wonder if it'll crash the server if I try and disenchant the bound blade. Oh, let's not. No? We shouldn't try that? Nope. <sighs> Pahimar, a.k.a. Pahi Wimp. Um, you are. Okay. I'm going to... So check this out. Boop! Come over here, check it out. But I'm doing, doing stuff. stuff. I'm doing stuff. I'm doing stuff. Look what I got. Where'd you go? Over here. You're never around when I need you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, what do you got? See? Um, you're just standing there. No, next to me. Look what's over here. I'll be right back. Oh, the auto enchanter. 
All right, bye, Mar. Check it out. My auto enchanter is cruising. Auto enchanting. Oh, I can't. I can't see your face in the way. Sorry, face. Oh, so you're using gold swords to get the enchant you want, and then you're gonna disenchant it to get the book you want. Yes. You guessed correctly, sir. Well, would you like to guess that while you were away, I finished a quest? Really? What'd you get? Because <laughs> we're both, like, munching. Uh, tree breeding. So uh, all I had to do was oh. make a sieve upgrade, an alveary sea, uh, sieve, uh, mutatron, an industrial grafter, and some spectacles. Nice. So from that, so from we that. get hill cherry pollen, banana pollen, and we get to pick one of these other pollens. Any particular one you want me to pick? Uh, I don't think we need the bag, because we got so much stuff. I don't know we what do pollen to that. pick. Oh, don't know. You pick oh. one, I'll pick another. I'm going to take lime. I'm going gonna... to pick blue mayo, because I have a feeling that just sounds familiar to me. I don't know if that's annoying to get or not, but it sounds familiar, so... I, I, in my bag, got 64 glass bottles of natural gas. I got morbid decor. So, how's this thing going? It takes a lot of time to enchant stuff with this system, but eh, it's worth it, I guess. So I've got oh, this all set up no. to automate. I, I would like to get... Oh, no, what? Oh, the... I need to get Next a Certus Comb, a Mellow Comb, Essence of the Shallow Grave, and an Energetic uh -huh. Comb. Sounds fun. I don't even know what bees make that. You just have to look it up in any eye. Quantum beads make Certus Combs, or Spatial. Well, that's interesting. The Mutatron seems to be you take some RF and some Mutagen and you combine two Bs, and you'll get the output, like, pretty quickly. Genetics Labware. Interesting. Mutatron seems cool. I guess it, like, forces the breeding, if you have Mutagen, which apparently Mutagen you get from a Mutagen producer, and it's either Glowstone or Redstone. Well, that's not bad. It's actually pretty OP. Yeah, we'll figure it out. No, that looks like fun, dude. I like Gen Industry. I want it now. Well, Fire nice, Aspect nice, 2, nice, Sharpness 4, Looting 3. <laughs> Still didn't get this enchant. Like, that's the enchant that I always throw away. And miraculously now, I just can't get it. All right, I'm going to continue with this Golden Sword shenanigans. Um, so, Pahamar, do you want to take a look at the Mutagen next episode, maybe, and also the Wither? Sure. I have a pretty good idea on how to fight the Wither and hopefully do a lot of damage to him. I have a couple plans, actually, cooking in my brain. Obviously, I'm trying to get Smite, so like that's clearly a good reason to do that. Um there's a few things else that I have in mind, too. Sounds, Sounds cool? So. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. We'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, I had a feeling, Pahamar, that we were ready to wrap up this episode. It's like you're a psychic. Yes, almost, but not really. So, we accomplished a lot today. We got Titanium, and we checked out Mariculture, and... A smite enchant. Um, I might try the Bound Blade. I tested it in single player and it didn't crash my game, so that's good. Um, I just didn't want to accidentally. I have had the server crash when putting an item in the Disenchanter that wasn't meant to take damage. And the Bound Blade never takes damage, so I wasn't sure. But it doesn't seem like it's crashing, so that's good. That's news. a relief. Yeah. So I might disenchant that guy in a minute. We'll see. Uh, for now, though, I think it's time to wrap up. So, I guess we should probably take it easy? We should absolutely take it easy. That goes without saying, but we're going to say it because it's what we say. Take it easy, everyone. All right, guys. Take it easy.